Okay, I'm ready. When we first see this symbol, we know right off the bat, it stands for love. Sharing makes love more interesting. So this evening, I would like to share one kind of love. I know for sure what it's like. It is sharing love through books. I have always been in a hurry to make money <laughs> because I had to support myself, but mainly because I wanted to be on my mama's house. And here it is. <laughs> so now the house is built. My new mission is to help Cambodian children to have access to books. Children in Cambodia read for class, but not just for fun. Some adults from countryside, they go to the city looking for a job, and they cannot even fill out the, the job application because they cannot read or write. And this is what a classroom looks like. Students have uniforms on, and at the end of each day, students in one row are scheduled to clean their classroom to get it ready for the next day. Ten years ago, I volunteered to teach my broken English and my native language, Khmer, to disadvantaged children in Siem Reap, Cambodia. My grandma didn't really agree with what I did because I worked for free. <laughs> but I knew what I love and I continued doing it. My mother had to move to the city when I was eight years old to find work. And I didn't have the opportunity to learn everything I wanted to. There were no books in my house. I want to give these children the opportunity I didn't have. Last summer, my friend Steve and I found an article about Jen and Karen Krieger in the Chronicle talking about school that they work for in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. It's called Liger Leadership Academy. One evening, I share my mission with Karen. Liger takes in students who come from economically disadvantaged family. Students learn based on their experiences and practicing, not just memorizing. Liger teach students to think like leaders and entrepreneurs. After sharing my mission with Karen, she told me about Ruti's project. Ruti is a senior at Liger. It is a requirement for him to create a project that could impact Cambodia's future. His project is called Khmer Children Literature. This is one of the book young author at Liger wrote. The author aged 13 to 15. Kids' book didn't exist for me when I was young. And these children can write and read in two languages. When I first saw the book, I had to cry. Cambodian economy book was also written by a student from Liger. Three years ago, it was published and distributed to public school by Ministry of Education of Cambodia. Our goal is to do the same thing with these children's books. Seven years ago, I discovered my first public library. <laughs> I could not believe my eyes. I cannot help but borrowing, borrowing more books than I can read. <laughs> Through the Bozeman Library, I learned that children learn how to read before they go to school. And this is what a public school library looks like in Cambodia. There are a couple of public libraries, but in the city, not the countryside. And school library only available for students and during school hours. And this is how we read in class. Teacher copy short section from her textbook, and students take turn to read and the rest repeat. Not every school can provide textbooks to every student we had to share. The, in, the influences I had in my childhood made me so passionate about children's education. Grandma started her own business. She taught me how to be an independent woman. 
But when I live with her, she never let me be one. <laughs> but it's okay, now we are on the same page. <laughs> I enjoy watching my uncle Vyasna studying at home, especially when he practices his English and read his textbooks. He likes to dream big and he knows how to get things done. Grandma's always brag about him. Grandpa is a well-educated farmer in the village. Every evening of weekend, we would read short story from Buddha's book and discuss about it. He taught me how to think critically and how to be kind. And he's always brag about me. <laughs> My nephew, this innocent human, made me think about his future and other children's futures. I noticed my family and other Cambodian give cell phones to their kids to play when they cry. But why not books? And of course, this is my favorite book. <laughs> I feel joy from reading, from thinking about book publishing projects, getting books to children and building libraries. I want my children to feel what I feel too. Our first step to building library all over Cambodia is to help Red T to publish six children's books written by LIGO students. So me and my team, Marie, put up GoFundMe campaign. Six days later, it was overfunded. <laughs> And this is just the beginning. Thank you so much for your support and especially my team Marie.